In this video, we will be looking at the countdown timer that you can get as an add-on from CrocoBlock in the Jet Elements expansion for Elementor. Before we do that, something I want to point out if you go into Elementor, if you go up here onto the widget side and you type in countdown, you're going to see that there are two elements. The first one called countdown timer and the second one countdown. Now the countdown, this one here, is part of the pro elements included in Elementor, whereas the countdown timer is part of the JIT elements expansion from Croco Block. And you may tell me or ask me why on earth would I want to have two? First of all, they are very similar. On the other hand, each one has a little bit different styling or different effects or a different way of doing it. But in the end, you only need one, right? You're not going to add two countdown timers, different looking things at the same time on your website. So what's going on here? Now, first of all, a lot of the CrocoBlock features that you get are features that may not be in either the Elementor Free or in the Pro. The second is that, like in the example of something like the button, is that it, they are more or less the same. You, you do find that they are similar. Maybe here and there are a few things that are different. And that may be the reason why CrocoBlock include them, because they want to give their spin on it. But the third reason I see is this one. The reason is that if you get the Elementor free version, there is no countdown timer in it. So you tell me, well, then I go buy Elementor Pro. If you go buy Elementor Pro, you will notice that you're going to be paying annually. You're going to be paying for one site, 49 US dollars, for three sites, 100, and then for unlimited sites, 200. That is an annual license. It's going to be renewed annually. On the other hand, if you go for the countdown timer that comes from Croco Block in their Jet Elements expansion or extension, you can buy the lifetime license for 300 US dollars. And these guys are rolling out features, widgets, elements, add ons for Elementor at an alarming speed that the competition should be aware of. So, what I'm saying here that you can get the free Elementor plus the lifetime license from CrocoBlock, and you will be able to make pro websites. Do you understand my reasoning? It's, it's just one of the reasons why you will find the duplication of widgets within Elementor. Because they, who they, they are Cro CrocoBlock, they are bringing in theirs to compete with Elementor Pro. And like I said, it's a decision you have to make. Do you want to pay for the annual license here? Or do you want to pay a once off? And you get more or less the same. So that is what you will be seeing numerous times throughout these tutorial videos on Jet Elements from CrocoBlocks is that there are going to be elements that have a brother or a sister in the Elementor Pro. And then remember this one where I've said it could be that you can be using the CrocoBlocks lifetime deal on the free Elementor. The only place where you will be having problem maybe is with widgets and templates and stuff like that. But in general, you'll be able to use all of these on the free Elementor, saving you actually cost. Enough of that. Let's go look at the countdown timer, this one, and we drag it in. And the moment you see it, you will understand this is very self-explanatory. Going to be using this a lot because you understand that some things we do it in page builders all the time, on sites all the time, and a countdown timer is something that's been with us for a long time. You can have days, hours, minutes, and seconds. You're not going to go into years, and this is a nice date picker up here. So let's say we want to put it until Christmas or Christmas Eve. We put it on December 24th for 2018, and then it will update over here. Now it's 76 days, 22 hours, 50 minutes, and a few seconds. Let's say you are not interested in the seconds. You think that's a little bit overkill. Then you go over here 
and you disable show the seconds and it will remove. Now you only see the days, hours and minutes. But we want that MacGyver effect. And for the MacGyver anticipation, we always want the seconds there. On the other hand, you may have something that is going to be happening in a few hours. So where I am today is over here and I'm going to click on it and I'm going to increase the time over here. And then let's see as it updates. There's one hour, 49 minutes and 19 seconds. And in this case, you may want to remove the days so you can only show the hours, the minutes and the seconds. Well, there are four blocks there and I think they all look pretty nice. So why not leave it there? You can change the label if you want to, maybe for language reasons, you want to change it into another language. Here is a good idea for that. Nothing much to happen here. For the block separator, you may notice a very faint colon there. It is not added by default. If you want to have the colon, you have to type it in there and then the colon will display. If you want to add a semicolon for whatever reason, add your semicolon. But usually for time separation, we use the colon. And that's how it's going to work. It's going to count down and then that's it. One of the things that I would always like to see in a countdown element or feature, and I know many people often request this, is that something actually happens, that the countdown is a trigger. When you reach zero, zero, it will maybe give you a pop-up or it will change to a new page or it will reveal something. That would be super nice if we can have that kind of dynamic feature in the future. Let's look at a few styling options quickly here. And here is the item. The item is this whole container and I'm only going to remove this border type here and I'm going to make it none. Remove those borders from that. And that's basically what we're going to be doing with it. We can increase the width of the item and you will see it updates every time because you can say it is not static content. It needs to do that. Let's go look at the labels. Now the labels are days, hours, minutes and seconds. We can change the color. Let's make it green and then topography. Let's go change the size a little bit. And that's good enough just to see how it works. We've got that going for ourselves. Digits. Here we're going to digits. And here's something that I've actually learned. Very nice font that you can use here called Cody Star. Enter. And now you won't see much because it's very small, but I'm going to increase it. You can see it gives you that digital feeling. Let's make it even bigger. And then let's change the letter, the line height. I'm going to type in here one so we can reduce that white space between it. Click on that. Let's make the color black so it gives us that digital feeling. Nice, right? That's very, very nice. And that's our digits, the separator styles. Uh, you can see it's way too small. Let's increase the size of that. Again, it's going to update. So it looks a little bit funky over there. And you will have to pray, play around a little bit with the margins for that one. Let's change it. Just see what happens. Arial, no more. Well, and then the last one that you can look at is the order. Now, this one may seem confusing. Basically, it is which is at the top. Is it the digits or is it the labels and which one goes at the bottom? So the first order now is the digits and you can only choose between two. So I'm going to make this two and then I'm going to make this one and you will see that the label days, hours, minutes and seconds have jumped to the top and now the digits are here at the bottom. Right. And that is your countdown timer. As simple as that, you can get this as part of the add-ons from CrocoBlock at Jet Elements. And if you ever feel like trying them out or you want to purchase, please remember to follow the link below. It's an affiliate link. You won't pay anything more. But those guys may say, JB, thank you very much for promoting our product on 